It is always a joy to come to the time of baptism, for we remember that in an age where children were not revered but often viewed as an inconvenience until they could become more productive, Jesus welcomed the children, gathered them into his arms, put his hands on them, and blessed them. It is our prayer at every baptism that through the blessed Holy Spirit, it would indeed be Jesus' hands that come down and touch and claim and name and hold our children. So I invite the families to come forward as we begin this baptism, as well as Elder Jane Cooper, who will do the introducing. Come on up. We'll gather back around here. <clears throat> There comes the man. That's good. Catherine, come on. Y'all come around close behind the font here. Baptism is, is a sacrament. It's also a covenant. It's a covenant in which we come and offer ourselves to the Lord and our children to walk out of darkness and into his light. It's a covenant in which the Lord promises his grace, his everlasting mercy, his redemption. And so we ask you, as you have already when you joined the church, taken vows of faith, to do so now, but this time on behalf of Lily and John Harmon. Do you acknowledge yourselves to be sinners in the sight of God without hope for your salvation except in his saving mercy? Do you? And do you acknowledge yourselves to be sinners in the sight of God and without hope for your salvation except in his saving mercy? Do you? And do you believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as the Son of God and the savior of sinners, and receive and depend on him alone as he's offered in the gospel, do you? And do you now promise and resolve in humble reliance upon the grace of the Holy Spirit that you will endeavor to live as followers of Christ? We don't want to let Elder Jane Cooper get away without having introduced the families. Sorry, we'll interrupt our questions for this introductory break. Family Church, on behalf of the session, it's my pleasure this morning to welcome uh, these children for baptism, Lily Renee Hart, and her parents are Catherine and Ryan Hart. Her big brothers are Carter and Connor. And also John Harmon, who's with us this morning, so sweet. His parents are Mary Frances and Colin O'Rourke. So the congregation has a responsibility as well. So as I read these things, take them to heart. The congregation is to assume with the parents responsibility for the spiritual nurture and development of these children. The congregation acts for the whole family of God and assumes responsibility for it on behalf of these children. So these are the questions for you, family of Christ. Do you, the members of this congregation, acting for yourselves and on behalf of the whole body of Christ, assume responsibility with these parents for the spiritual nurture of these children, do you? We do. And do you commit yourselves to set a godly example before these children to provide as far as you are able all that is necessary to the end that they may one day confess Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, do you? We do. And now the questions of Christian parenting. Do you unre unreservedly dedicate your children to God and promise by relying on his power and grace through the Holy Spirit to live Christian lives before them, do you? And do you commit yourselves to pray with and for your children, to teach your children the scriptures and the great articles of the faith in Jesus Christ, do you? And finally, do you promise to use every means provided by God, including faithful participation in the life of the church, to bring up your children in Christ-loving discipline, do you? Let's pray. Gracious God, we thank you for the gift of baptism and pray that even as these waters are poured out upon Lily Renee and John Harmon, that you would mark them as Christ's own forever. Amen. Okay, here we go first. Go first. Look, you're doing what your brothers have already done. See, look at that. Look, Carter and Carter, this is your sister. She's going to get baptized just like you were. Lily Renee Downing, I baptize, sorry, Hart. <laughs> Downing Hart, Lily Renee Hart, I baptize you in the name of the Father 
and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. May Almighty God guard and defend you from this day forward and forevermore. All right. John, are you ready? You ready to come to me? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We, I know. We talked about this. Look at this. Look at this. John Harmon O'Rourke, I baptize you in the name of the Father. I know. In the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. May Almighty God guard and defend you from this time forward and forevermore. You, you want to hang with her? Okay. She'll, she'll walk you down. Here we go. Well, Have let's... a little stroll with these guys. <laughs> let's walk. Ooh. I don't know why I took the ramp. Here we go. Here we are. You take in all the lovely faces. Beautiful family. You already have a beautiful family. But this is the family that God has given you. The family who will love you and care for you. The family who will pray for you, teach you, lead you. <laughs> She's a little lighter than your chunk, isn't she? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Hart, as you have dedicated Lily Renee to God, he now returns her to you for your safekeeping and love. Would you pray with me? Our Father in heaven, we ask that you would do as you have promised. You are a God of the covenant. You are a God who is faithful, and you are faithful to your promises to families. And so would you bless both the Hart and O'Rourke families as they seek to raise their children in the fear and knowledge of you. Lord, be true to the promise that what we've done outwardly in faith, that it might be applied to their very hearts, that your Holy Spirit would truly indwell each of these wonderful children made in your image that no matter where they go or what, no matter what might happen in their lives, that they would remember that their true home, that their true place of belonging is with you. Lord, let their families be a reflection of that. Make these homes places of warmth, places of patience, of grace and forgiveness that would reflect the grace and forgiveness that we have in Christ. Make them those that would treasure the church family as well that they would find a home here and wherever you may direct them and lead them, that they may know that this family is theirs, that this is the place where they belong. Lord, let their identity be as those who have been washed, who have been renewed, who have been marked for your service and love, for you care for them. But may they return just the peace of your love in due time. We ask your blessing in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Well, as the families return to their places, I invite you to stand and let's confess the faith of the church in which we have baptized. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He will come again at the hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.